There's something a lot of people have been talking about lately in regards to Shiba Inu, and it's the most exciting part of crypto, and that is the price. Now, there are those that bought recently. Okay, in anticipation of the Shibarium testnet launch, they expected great price appreciation, but now they're feeling jaded, dissuaded by the price performance. And I want to talk about why it's doing what it's doing. There's three key reasons why. This is a Shiba Inu price newsflash. Okay? Now, firstly, what we see right now is just the Shibarium testnet. Okay? These testnets that we've seen throughout history, they don't bring huge price appreciation. Sorry to break the news. They don't lead to big run-ups. Usually, any run-up they get subsequently gets erased because, again, it's just a testnet. Now, once Shibera Mainnet does go live, that's when you might start seeing some better price appreciation, right? Because, obviously, developers can start deploying their projects. The metaverse might be very close. And not only that, but then we actually have the implemented Shiba Inu burn in Shibera. Okay, These are all, obviously, great things that could lead to, again, some good price appreciation. Now, secondly... Right now, Voyager is still liquidating their assets. It's what's brought us down to this level in the first place. We've just kind of chilled around there. Very soon, they'll be done, guys, and then we won't have to deal with them anymore. Okay, I just wanted to zip through that one because obviously we've talked about that ad nauseum. Now, lastly, okay, we are still in a bear market. A lot of people like to think that we're not because of the price appreciation we saw at, you know, in the, basically over this first quarter of 2023. And guys, unfortunately, we still are in a bear market. Now, here's the thing. I have seen people saying, oh, yeah, I can't wait any longer. And, <clears throat> you know, this this sucks and yada, 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 right? And that Chibi and you's dead because the price isn't going anywhere. This sideways trading, guys, it happens, okay? Just look at prior bear market cycles for, for Bitcoin, okay? Obviously, it's it's been through four of them. It's gone through this before. The crypto market cycle, it happens every four years. You basically get this, you know, you go through the bull run, you get to the high, then you go through about a year of pullback, you go through about six months to a year of sideways trading. And then the bull market cycle starts. And right now, we are right on cue with that. Okay. The great thing about this is typically you have one year of red, three years of green, one year of red, three years of green. Well, 2022 was obviously that big year of red. And I got to tell you guys something, if you've made it this far, you've been through the hardest part, this sideways trading, this boring stuff, this is nothing, guys, okay? <clears throat> this is the time to really embrace how boring it is. This is the time where you could be dollar cost averaging. You could be bringing down your overall buys, okay? That's what I'm doing during this time. I'm building my bag for the future because I know that in the next bear market cycle that we experience, which would be obviously three, four years from now, the prices are probably gonna be a lot higher, you know, not just for BTC, but for all crypto assets, all the ones that are building right now and that are gonna survive through it. <clears throat> now, for those that have said that Chibi and you is not going to make it through this bear market cycle, that it dead, you're just flat out wrong. Okay, it was actually one of the most stable coins through the bear market cycle. It's one of the few that since June, when everything came crashing down and hit that low, it didn't create a new low. All right, I've talked about that in other videos. And so you're just speaking from a place of not knowing what you're talking about. Now, actually, I kind of like what price is doing today. Price is going up. I'll take it. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that that she mean you isn't going to print one of these one of these you know things that it did in late 2021. That price appreciation is still possible. A lot of people think it's capped because of the you know market cap and, and stuff like that. And I want to tell you guys something. Okay, crypto is is starting to get to this point of mass adoption. We're about to hit that S curve. We're about to go parabolic. Okay, and with that is going to bring some insane market caps people didn't think were possible. Now. They're expecting the overall market cap of crypto by 2030 to be $100 trillion, guys. Just wrap your head around that. We're at $1 trillion right now, and we'd be looking at $100 trillion by 2030. Now, Shiba Inu currently occupies 0.6% of the global market cap of crypto. Okay, It's got about $6 billion market cap right now. That means at 2030, with no burn, nothing, we're looking at $600 billion market cap. All right? Some people might say, oh, no, that's not going to happen. It's not possible. It, it happens, guys. This is, this is how these things work. Do you think that these stocks that had trillion-dollar market caps were that way forever? You didn't think people were, were doubting it back when it was like single-digit billions? Okay, These things do happen. 
Crypto is a growing sector. It's getting more and more adoptions. Why you're seeing huge adoption as far as like corporations go, you see patents and trademarks and integration. It's coming, guys. <clears throat> All right. Now, as always, this is not financial advice. Do your own research. Take what I say with a grain of salt. But you can be excited about what is being developed and done by Shiba Inu. It's not staying stagnant. Right now, stagnancy is the worst possible thing you could have for a coin or a chain. Those who are doing that right now are getting past. There are those who are innovating, those who are developing, and those will be the ones that thrive as we get into this next market cycle. But I thought I'd share that with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely let me know your thoughts below. Also show your love. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Drop me a like as well. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm making. But have a wonderful day, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Take care.